comes to installing your system, there are several things that are going to take place. But we just want to let you know that Fox Family is going to take care of all this. All we need for you to do in the end is just call the inspector. You guys know your schedule. All you have to do is just call the number that we'll provide to you on the document and then just be there so that the inspector can do his thing. Fox Family acquires the CF1R from the Title 24 company for pre-permit documents required from the city and county. So Fox Family is then going to go down to the city or county and we're going to apply for and receive the permit online in person. Then Fox Family is going to come out and install the equipment. Once the equipment is installed and fires up normally, California Title 24 test is going to be performed by a third party. This company uh, complies with CalCERT's guidelines. They verify the following. Duct leakage meets the allowable leakage rates set forth by the state. Airflow into the system, like through your return duct, meets the standards set forth by the state as well. Refrigerant charge is the most efficient it can be. Title 24 company is going to print that result and leave it with the homeowner the day of the installation. Then the installers are going to give the permit, the installation instructions for the equipment, and the Title 24 documents to the homeowner. So then the day that we actually install the equipment, we get it up and running, we have the Title 24 guys come out and test the job. That's the day that you guys will pay us for the work that was done. Subcontractor work is performed after the job. If that portion of the job needs to be done before payment for that part of the job is issued by the homeowner, that's fine. After all the work is completed, the homeowner is going to call for the inspection. Call by 4 p.m. the day before you want the inspection. The phone number is on top of the front page of the permit. The window they give you to inspect is usually 8 to 4 p.m. If you call the date of the inspection, they can usually give you a better time frame for the inspector's arrival. When the inspector does arrive, give him or her the packet that we left with the homeowner on the day of the install. The inspector will need a ladder to access the equipment, so if you don't have one, please let us know and we'll be happy to drive out the day of the inspection and leave you with a ladder. We'll come back and pick it up afterwards. So then after the inspector does his job, he's going to note everything and then he'll let us know if there's any corrections that need to be made. Simply call us out to make the corrections and then have it inspected one last time to finalize the project. One more note on the inspection, Fox Family pulls the permit, so the permit is actually in our name. So it's really important that you guys do call up the inspector to have the job closed out. If Fox Family has too many uh, permits open, you know, it starts to kind of look bad on us. Um, so, you know, we're trying to do the right thing by pulling the permit. So if you guys could help us out by having the job inspected afterwards, um, you have 180 days to do it. So that should give you plenty of time. And then you will not you will also not have any open projects on your house. So if you decide to do any jobs in the future, they might say, oh, they still have this permit open and that never even gotten taken care of. So um, here's a fine for not having that thing inspected and you need to reapply for a new permit to have that inspected before you can do this job that you really want to do in the future. So.